afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Fresh Baked Disney, the best of Disney Baked Fresh Daily. I'm your host, David, and in this episode, we are going to take you on a tour around Disneyland and California Adventure to show you what's new and what's newsworthy in the parks these days. You might have heard that Autopia and Monsters, Inc. have been added to the stable of attractions that are getting fast passes. We talked about this a bit on Fresh Baked Presents. Uh, I'm a little curious as to why they're doing this uh, for, for both attractions. Um, I guess Autopia makes a little more sense than Monsters, Inc. because people just don't want to ride Aut Autopia because it, you know, it's, it's kind of a boring queue and you want to get in, into your, your vehicle as fast as possible. Except the only problem is that uh, Fast Pass, as usual, is a standby killer and this is one attraction that can, cannot sustain any more damage to it, how long it takes in standby. Not to mention that uh, the insertion point, the merge point for Fast Pass and Standby is, is pretty close. Uh, me, what I mean to say is, is that you're not gaining much by uh, getting a Fast Pass. It, it inserts you very early into the queue, into the Standby queue. Now as for Monsters, Inc., uh, there's a little more hope there in terms of where you get placed into the queue. I was wondering about this again on Fresh Big Presents, but uh, I, I, in looking at the attraction today, I found that yeah, you're gonna split as you cross the threshold, most likely, and I think I heard somebody confirm this. Uh, fast pass will go to the left, standby will go to the right. Uh, so, where they'll they'll send the standby groups out into the uh, the expanded queue, exterior queue. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna join, they're gonna merge somewhere near the door, just before the door. Uh, at this point right here, after after sending the standby guests out into that extended queue, they can come back around. Uh, towards the far end of the, of, of the extended queue. Now, in addition to Monsters, Inc. and Autopia getting fast passes, one of the stories that's in that sort of should they or shouldn't they discussion is the return of Soarin' Over California to Grizzly Peak and DCA. Uh, there, it's gonna be back on February 28th, uh, along with the uh, Food and Wine Festival. Ostensibly because they're both California themed, I guess. I feel like Disney's trying to find more reasons to bring back Soren because apparently it's a more popular version of the attraction than Soren around the world, or at least many people think so. Uh, so expect that to come back on February 28th. Let us know if you believe it should stay. Right there, there's an onward preview happening at the Tomorrowland Theater. You can see a preview. It's a good 10 minute preview of the new Disney Pixar film. Uh, two long clips and then a couple of you know trailery type segments. Check it out if you're a fan of Disney Pixar. Meanwhile, at Adventureland, Tropical Hideaway has a new menu item that I am really curious to check out. I uh, I love Tropical Hideaway. I love it. It's beautifully themed, beautifully designed. It's an amazing place to have a snack, and it's a much better use of that space than anything they have done there in recent memory. Having said that. I've been a little underwhelmed, I think, by the, the, the menu. Uh, apart from the, the pineapple lumpia and, and obviously the Dole Whips, which are amazing, I was like, eh, I was a little meh on the food there. Ian loves the food here at, at uh, Tropical Hideaway, but I was a little meh about it. But I am curious to find out. I want to see some more. I want more options. I, I, I feel like I want to be able to have a meal here, a proper meal. So we're going to go in to Tropical Hideaway and sample the pork lumpia. That's the new item, by the way, pork lumpia. I learned only recently that lumpia is, I, I, I thought it was something specifically sweet, but it's actually more like a like an egg roll, so it could be both sweet or savory. This is the pineapple lumpia right here. Uh, but like I said, we're going to try the pork lumpia today. Well, verdict. Uh, Great! The pork lumpias were great. I thought I liked the pineapple lumpia, which by the way, I also got. <laughs> but the pork lumpia were fantastic. Perfectly, uh, like, a, like a perfect little appetizer. It's not a meal, more appetizer than meal, so don't expect to get filled up, but they, they, they were really tasty. The, the pork was good, the sweet and sour sauce is perfect. Uh, and as I said, I, I also happened to join those with some, some uh, sweet pineapple lumpia, which uh, don't sleep on those. I thought I liked those. I think I like the pork lepias even better. Uh, so check it out, Tropical Hideaway. You know what? It was a great idea, by the way, is come to Tro Tropical Hideaway, get some lumpia, get a Dole Whip, maybe get a bow if that's your thing, and then go see go see uh, Tiki Room right next door. Or better yet, go to Tiki Room. Go to Tiki Room first, 
maybe you'll get Maynard as your host, and then when you exit the Tiki Room, don't turn right, turn left. Turn left, go to Tropical Hideaway, and get a pork lepia. Let's go to Tomorrowland next where there's some newsworthy items. If you like popcorn buckets, there's always a new one coming out. You've seen probably the Mickey uh, Steamboat Willie popcorn bucket. Now we've got a mini Steamboat Mini. <laughs> you can find this one uh, at, the, at the popcorn cart out in front of the old uh, People Mover loading area uh, or the Astro Orbiter, wh whichever you prefer. And finally, last stop is World of Disney in downtown Disney where there's some new merchandise that I cannot wait to show you because it's totally adorable. I mean, if you're a collector of wishables, I'm not personally, but those Space Mountain ones, which they only, sh you can't see the blind bags in the shop, but you can see them online. Those Space Mountain ones are adorable. And I feel like I really maybe want to start collecting wishables now. Have you seen that? And then you've got the, uh, the Fantastic Five merchandise, which is fun. I I'm kind of curious though, because I thought they would show all five characters on at least some of the merchandise, but I think only one or two of the pieces had all five of the Fantastic Five. The others were just either Mickey or Minnie or, or, or just four of them, <laughs> which was interesting. And that is what's new and newsworthy at Disneyland this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was kind of fun. Hopefully I can do this again next week. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Respect. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!